Okay, I just want to do a quick follow-up on GAP on Friday because I think it gives an important chart lesson um, and it'll help maybe expand what you think about when you're looking for an intraday trade. Uh, this is a five-day, 15-minute candle chart of GAP um, and you can see, look what happened Friday afternoon. This thing just tanked. I mean, what's the low of this candle? 960. Well, we were stalking it. Let me go to 60s. We were stalking it because it was oversold and tailing sideways and we Remember how many times it hit 14 and would pull back? Um, but above this area, it certainly had room to run and maybe catch some shorts uh, by surprise. So now let's kind of zoom in to 15s, and I'll show you what I'm talking about from Friday. About two days. My charts get jacked up. This was actually the opening candle on Friday. On weekends, for some reason, E-Trade's charts don't coincide with, um, like here it says 9.30, but that's not right. This was the 9.30 candle. Um, anyway, here's the point. You had lower tops and all these 15s, and then it formed this nice-looking 15 green one. And uh, people in chat were stalking it for a um, break of this one's high. And um, so I put my two cents in. What you want to do when you see something like this is go out a few days and make sure it's still valid. Okay? Now here's that same candle right there. Um, and it didn't trigger anyway, so it's not like anybody had to make the decision because it just kept going, never broke that candle's high. But... Um, I said go out a few days and then you can see, let me go out like five days and find that candle again. And it's right there. Now it's below the last few days consolidation. So you don't really have, if this thing turns now and, and takes out this candle's high, you still don't have the excitement of the breakout right, at, right above it. Okay, you got all this to the left that it would have to work through anyway. So, um, I like to to buy you know these these GSP setups when if it triggers immediately above is a chance on the daily or on the longer term you know last few day charts for it to run so um, you want to see a catalyst uh, you know directly above now say this candle say it had put in some small 15s right here and this candle this 15 formed right under 14 well then if it takes it out you got a chance for the breakout again so um, main crux of this lesson is when you see something like this forming. Now, because it had pulled back all the way from 14 down to 13.27. Um, it's no longer near the breakout area, okay? So um, the chances of this ripping on taking out this 15's high are, are much slimmer now. Because, I mean, look, everyone who bought and sold for the past few days um, is underwater here. So it, it's certainly the shorts are in control. And, and if it did break this 15's high, the odds of it going back all the way to 14 now are diminished. Because um, it's not right near the breakout anymore. So, um, and you can see again, it didn't trigger, but, um, you know, if you go out a few days and look and see that, okay, it's no longer, um, that exciting if it does turn right here. Um, so, and I did, I told everybody in chat, I said, um, you know, I'm personally leaving it alone now. I've lost, lost faith in it because it's not near the breakout. And, you know, and look what it did. It never did, uh, break that pivot or break that 15s high, but, um, just goes to show that it just tanked. Um, so, the important lesson there is go out a few days when something's getting ready to trigger on one of our setups and make sure it's still valid. You know, make sure it still has room and there's possible excitement um, and excited traders to enter the stock if it does get a turn there. So, um, and it certainly didn't. And now, if you go back out to the daily, it's taken out all previous lows. Now, we, we may um, watch this again over the next few days and see if we can get some kind of bounce, um, but not right now. Right now, it's uh, shorts are strongly in control of this one. So. Just a quick weekend lesson, and we'll see you on Monday morning.